Hi, my name's James. And I'm here to talk to you today about placements. Just received my placement at Disney, um, working as the digital marketing intern, which I'm very excited about. I'm really looking forward to it, working on all the movies that are going to be released by them. However, to get there was not easy at all. It was a very stressful, quite fierce and ruthless process, I'd say. So I'm here to give you some tips, some advice on how you can get through that recruitment process and overcome those stages. I'd recommend having a short personal statement at the top. So, you know, maximum one paragraph that just explains who you are, what you what your objective is, and, and that's really important, I think. Having your objective where you want to be or what you want, what industry you want to go into, um, what skills you want to acquire, include those in your personal statement because that's the first thing they're going to read. Keep your personal statement short, sweet and sharp. Most likely they're going to read that paragraph first and then they'll move on to your work experience. So here I would really recommend you putting your most recent employer first and then bullet pointing your your responsibilities and any achievements you've made in that job. It doesn't have to be related to the role but again I'd match it to the responsibilities of the job. Definitely look at the job responsibilities, look at the job description and then reflect it in your CV. What I did is I had around 30 positions I wanted to go for and then I categorised them into red, orange, green but reversed it. So green would be the jobs I really wanted to go for and they sounded really interesting and they're the industry I wanted to go into. And then I would prioritise a lot of my research and a lot of my time and effort in terms of tailoring my CV, learning more about the company for those green companies. Then the amber group, another group of companies that you are interested in, but again, you're not going to spend so much time and thought and effort into these, but you know that you're definitely going to apply for them. Lastly, you have the red section of your company. So these are companies that interest you, they're in your industry, but okay. they're jobs that you can fall back on, um, especially if you're getting into your year and you're not having much success so far. So I think definitely categorising those placements into the red, amber and green will really help you prioritise your time and your effort. Well, I got rejected for two placements and I kind of went, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. And then I just went straight back to my list and knew where I had to apply to next. So there are many places where you can find placement opportunities. The Aston Futures website, which is made by the Careers and Placement Service, that's a great resource. You're able to receive daily, weekly emails on upcoming placement opportunities straight to your email inbox. Make sure you check those out because they, they advertise a lot of international placements as well. If you're wanting to do that or to study abroad, rate my placement is really good. Read is, is, is good. You're able to filter by your industry, where they're based, for example. So there's a lot of resources available to you. Um, what else? Um, I recommend having a LinkedIn profile. <laughs> Works like your CV, so you're able to put a personal statement, your work experience, your skills, which your friends, employers can uh, vote for those skills as well. Um, you can get recommendations and references on there as well. Don't be, don't be afraid to reach out to businesses because LinkedIn is an invaluable resource. I've built up my own network. I uh, regularly keep in touch with people I've worked with in the past. Definitely have a look at LinkedIn. Again, this is great for um, people who want to go into small businesses or people who want to take international placements. And yeah, everyone good luck. And yeah, see you all in final year. <laughs>